using the Kata Lips Mold. The Kata Lips Mold is one of the easiest molds to work with. I love the versatility of it and it always looks good. This is a three piece plunger mold. The back piece is flat and has a lip that rests inside the outer shell, while the plunger piece is thicker and has the details on it. So to start off with, you're going to place the back piece into the outer shell. After that, we begin to lightly fill the mold with bath bomb mix. And I'm also shaking the mold just a little bit to help the mix get into all the cracks and crevices, all those little corner pieces, just to make sure that it's all the way filled in. I'm not packing it tightly, I'm just making sure that the bath bomb mix is full. Now, when I make these for my business, I actually weigh the amount that I put into each bath bomb so they can stay consistent. But for these tutorials, I'm just showing you how to use the mold and I'm not worrying about the actual weight. Okay, so I filled my bath bomb mold up and now I'm gonna place it on the table and I begin to press. As I press, I turn the mold to make sure that it's pressed evenly all the way around. I don't have to put a whole bunch of pressure into it. This flat mold molds beautifully and easily without having to put a lot of elbow grease in it. A few tats with a spoon is all I need and now I take the back flat piece off. See how easily it comes off? I push the plunger piece up through the outer shell to release it from the plunger. And now I'm going to flip it over onto my pan. Now I'm gonna slow that down and show you again. If you notice, I'm grabbing the edges of the bath bomb all the way around before I'm flipping it. And I release the plunger piece with a few taps of my spoon and ta-da. Let's try another method in case that flip is just a little bit too scary for you. Once again, we're gonna take our mold and when we have it, okay, we're gonna take our mold, okay. We're gonna take our mold, put the flat back piece in, and begin filling it with mix, much the same as we did the first time. Giving it a few shakes to make sure we get into all those little corners, and consistently filling lightly, not packing the mold in. I take the back plunger piece, press it in. Now this time, for some reason, I don't press it on the table. I don't know why I didn't do that, but obviously it didn't make a huge difference with this mold. Some molds, it does make a huge difference, so, I guess I'm just showing you that there's more than one way to skin a cat with this mold. Remove the back flat piece, and you're gonna press the plunger piece through the outer shell again. And this time I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard to flip the bath bomb onto before I place it onto the tray. That way I don't have to worry about it falling or maybe cracking. Um, maybe I my finger slip and I lose it when I'm flipping it over. It's just a more consistent and um, sure way to make sure that your bath bomb is not gonna break when you're unmolding it. So if you have any qualms about flipping it out, then maybe consider using a piece of cardboard like I do. These are super easy to decorate. You can leave them plain, you can add some airbrushing, some highlights, you can get crazy with them. But no matter how you do them, they're gonna be popular and your customers are gonna love them. If you want to find out more about making and decorating bath bombs, you can visit us at bathbizandfoam.com or on Facebook, Bath Biz and Foam Bath Bomb and Bubble Bar Support Group. I'll share links in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy making. Smash that subscribe button like you smash your bath bombs. Pew, 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 pew.